Brothers and sisters of melanin, this is Brother Wisdom. You know, I want to talk to you guys about the natural order of life. You know, when nature finally takes over, it will be a life that we're going to have to become accustomed with. You see, there's going to be a lot of our people who are going to, who are going to still want to try to rule over someone or rule over another person because this is what our people have been trained to do um, they will not want another government because they already know the the woes and the problems that we went through with this mind controlling body on our planet but for the most part our people will still want to have that notion that, oh, I can be the ruler and I can run this and you're going to do what I No, That's going to be done and over and done with. OK, um, these beings on our planet who have given themselves a position of rulership. Um, are going to be permanently removed from the planet. There will be no need for them anymore as we have already been informed by the Supreme Cosmic Council who has already let us know that these beings have become, literally become obsolete. And because they are absolute, they have become obsolete, we can see them now crumbling and falling apart rapidly as time changes. Um, the natural order of life is all about us being in total sync with nature. Now, as time, natural time progresses and created time rapidly disappears because we can see it now created time this created time is is, is is going away and you know they're losing control of the time that they have created and they don't know what to do or how to function properly because their minds are going away from them you know only thing they know how to do only thing these work beings know how to do is you know business as usual you know, this is all they know, business as usual, because they cannot grow. They cannot perform at a higher level of life or thinking or not even a high, higher level of consciousness because their time is literally up. And they're holding on as, as, as hard as they can. They're, they're really holding on as hard as they can to um, keep this illusion that they created alive, even though it's dying away. Even their artificial intelligence is not even functioning properly. You know, the, 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 the factions that they created are not created functioning properly, you know, and all the thing that they can do is still try to instill fear, though they know that they must come into the uh, entire balance of nature and life. We will not need anyone to rule over us because we will rule over ourselves. Okay? I need you to understand that. We will not need anyone to rule over us because we will rule over ourselves. I, self, law, and master. What is that law? The laws of nature. The laws of nature are all about being in alignment with the frequencies and the vibrations of nature. I self law and master. You are master of yourself. And no one else can be a master over you. 
Now, if you look at the animals in, 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 the, in the animal kingdom, even the lions, you know, there is no lion who masters over all the other lions. There's not that thing going on. There are no tigers or bears who masters over the other ones. No. None of that nonsense goes on. There are no birds that masters over the other birds. I mean, they might fight, you know, each other because of mating, but that's what animals do. Yeah, we don't have, we're not like animals. We don't have to fight for mating. You know, we find someone, that person is our soul mate and we're with them forever. But it's all about the being a master of yourself and not allowing someone else to rule over you. If you look at the bees, the wasp, the hornets, look at these creatures, look at the ants, look how they work together in sync. They work together, they build castles and empires, you know, ants build some of the greatest empires and, and, and kingdoms underground. Look at the, 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 the wasp and the bees and all, they, they build nests. I mean, some nests just humongous, gigantic nests. And they're building and they're getting food and they're working in sync together. And at any given time when they feel like someone is coming to violate their uh, premises, they attack. Same thing with the ants, the bees, the lions, the tigers, the bears. And this is where we must return to in our focus of nature. And this is what we must return to. We have to return to that, that, that era of, of, of living. This is why I talk about meditation and getting in tune with the cosmos. I'm ready for war. I want to do away with these orc beings on our planet because they they're not us. They're not they they are not us at all. They are not who we are. They will never be. They want to say, "Oh yeah, you know, we're the same people and we bleed the same." No you don't. The melanin blood is crystallized. Your blood is slimy. We're crystal beings. You're beings full of slime. It's totally, two totally different species. We have ether, which is crystals and, and minerals and metals. You have fur. And you have lice. And, 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 and bot flies grow inside your body and ticks come out of you. And, you know, I saw a video where an a, a orc man, he had something in his body he didn't know where it was never been in the forest or the fields or anything never been and and he had a bot fly growing inside of him why because they are parasites we are nature they are parasites two totally different beings so the whole part of nature is we coming into the part of building and rebuilding and building be fruitful and multiply. Fruitful and multiply means to build and create. Create more technology, create more transportation, create, build, build, build. That's what it's all about, my people. Has less to do with having sex and children, but more to do with creating things for comfort. Many of us are tired of this situation that we're in. Raise our consciousness. Join in with nature. Have that will to want to destroy those who invaded our planet and held us down. Because they're not our friends. I'm going to tell you this. For, for one of them to say, oh, I love you. And I want to marry you. What kind of love is that? You love me so much that you wouldn't want me to mate with my own species. You love me so much that you will want to keep me from giving, from, from, from creating an ancestor. You will want me to create a hybrid and you 
know this. They know this. This is embedded in them. So there's no love. True love will let me be who I am and let me be with my own. That's true love. Nature is about the laws of separation. Nature separates. Bears are with bears. Bees with bees, wasps with wasps, lions with lions. You never see a lion and a tiger mating. You never see a, a, a bear and a goat mating. You don't see that stuff. All right? So this is where we gotta come back into nature and know that we must return to the original order of life so that we are able to function properly under the laws of my act. Which are the law, the, the, which are the natural laws of the cosmos. I self law and master, Islam, Quran, knowledge, order, rhythm, astrology, nature. That's what it's all about, my people. That's just what it's all about. And we have to return to the original order of nature, no matter what. Nature has no religion. Nature has no political preference. Nature, nature doesn't see money. Nature doesn't doesn't uh, 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 is not conditioned in the the social status of life. Nature doesn't have any of those things going on. Nature is all about energy moving according to the laws of the cosmos, and this is where we will return. As the magnetic energy begins to run even heavily on the planet, we will start seeing a lot of different things happening. We will see a lot of different things happening. We will see, you know, you know, we already seeing the cable starting to go in and out. We seeing the, the the flickering of the lights, but we're gonna see something else. We're gonna see see something uh, uh, that was never seen before we're going to start seeing the translucent light we're going to start seeing the energy around us there's a brother who um who i know and he's he's subscribed to this to my youtube channel he's telling me about how he has the power of fire and he can control fire and see this we're going to start seeing our people with these abilities and the children wanting to dig deep into that that dark energy of nature so we must prepare ourselves for the natural order of life because nature is the only way we can go, my people. These beings are spraying the sky, trying to make it rain, you know, trying to do, trying to create this whatever because the energy is so high on the planet, the magnetism and because the magnetic field has lowered, that means the energy is unstable, all right? So we must prepare ourselves for the inevitable shift. Talked about the magnetic pole shift. It's the magnetism. Our planet returning back to the original order of counterclockwise spinning in the, in, uh, within the cosmos. Okay? So it's all about the natural order of life. We will not rule over each other. We will rule over ourselves. But yet we will be just like the ants and the bees and we will build and build and build and mate and build and and we will build and we will become the more pow most powerful beings on this planet just like we were before. Remember, meditation is the key. Meditation is the key to everything. All right, my people. Take time in the meditation. Take time and gravitate towards energy. Find all the different frequencies that you can meditate with. All right. I love you all. I want to see us grow more powerful than ever. All power to the multi-shocker people of Melanin. Peace to you all.